Ah, uh, it was really dope. Um, and that's now, uh huh. Is this now where you go into studio and record? Mm-hmm. Mimi na mimi na mimi na we. Yes, that was it. That's okay. And how was that experience? It was it was so dope because I remember we were tired after the Groove Awards. So it was immediately after Groove because we were flying out the next day. Yeah. So we had to do it that evening. So we went to the studio. Uh, Chris is just such a great guy. Like mm. I love his heart. I love his honesty. And uh, where had you met Chris? I met him at at the Groove rehearsals for the first when you were the, doing when yeah. we did when I came there Zichani. alone. Yes, yes. Okay. I remember it was a bit difficult because I didn't. You see, I wasn't used to this artist life of bringing your manager and whatnot. So I came alone. Like mm. I was alone. Uh, so like I wasn't with anyone. So everyone was sort of busy doing their own thing. Uh, all these different artists were rehearsing and stuff. And then uh, when that was done, I got, uh, I, I met up with Chris. And you know, Chris, so I was either talking to Chris or, 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 or Krober. Uh, yeah, yep, so, yep, yep. yeah, so you know, we, uh, I, I really connected with him. Like he, he's a really good guy. And then mm-hmm. of course, yeah, that next year we decided to do the, uh, to do the, the song. To, to do the song, yeah. So from the, from the studio, I mean, from the Groove Awards, you went to the studio. You went to the studio. Immediately after singing the song, we started shooting the video. Jay Blessing was, yes, was yeah. right there. <laughs> so he set up the joint and we started shooting the... So it, it all had to happen in, in that space. Hours, short, yes. In hours, right, yeah. And I, I don't even know how I remember the lyrics, to be honest. Because I, I, <laughs> I don't... I, don't um, I, I usually take time to... Even when I do an album... I'll sit on it first and soak in the lyrics so that I can, you know, but then it was immediate. I had to make sure I remember what I just rapped. My God is the boss, yeah me and Sin ain't together no more, we have divorced And with grace I elope, beautiful sores On my feet so the devil tryna creep in and step on my toes But never stop reaching the laws When I say put your hands together, I don't mean the blow Nikamba ti pempede, bonse ti chenjede Kumbu yo sininga buedede, doncha kudedede Mulungundi e chibusa, apange mutima wako nyumba Mimi na mimi na mimi na Mimi na mimi na mimi na And let me ask you, now you guys are lot of house, mm. all in different countries. Yeah. I mean, all, all you've left your country as the mm-hmm. outfit. Right. You see, the first time you left as the leader or, or, yeah. or, the, or yeah. one of the heads, right. but now you're coming with your guys. Right, right. Are you right. guys looking and seeing this thing and just being like, yo, guys, there's something what? weird. <laughs> I mean, I think by the time we are going the second time, we are now sort of used to the idea that, okay, you know what, we are the artists that 
come to Kenya. <laughs> 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 because it's like, because after Groove, uh, three months later, I was uh, invited again in Kenya by uh, Rebecca Don. Yes, <laughs> yeah, amazing Rebecca Don. And uh, we, we went there, we did this concert. In fact, the concerts I've done at at thing have ICC. probably been some of the yes yeah. at uh nairobi lighthouse they are probably yes, the nairobi best lighthouse, sorry. uh probably the best events i have have been to i mean like they really treat what we do with respect you know mm. what i mean and you sort of feel like ish what i do is important you know what i mean I, it, it really helps and even just and also their attention to like how this should sound like, what it should look like, the stage, the lighting, this, the altar call, like, oof. I mean, Nairobi Lighthouse Church throws down. Mm. Yeah, they throw it down. So, um, so yeah, so I went, I, I, we, we, that was the, the second time. So at that time, we just went, me and Abel. Yes. Uh, yeah, and we had this event, had an awesome time. Uh, and then again, uh, I think in October, that's the time Pompey now went to Uganda for the first time. Mm. So he went to Uganda, had his show. Then in December of that year, um, me and Pompey went to Uganda for, again, for, for Fat, Fat Fest. Fest. Yes. Yeah. So Fat Fest was now, that was, I think that's the biggest event I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> festival wise, like, yes. it's, I mean, there were just so many people. Yeah. And yeah, so it was, it was, it was amazing anyway. So, um, and at the same time, what's happening here? Are you still, um, yeah. are you performing? Are you now? So every, every weekend. That's how it was. Here, that, that year was just, I could, I mean, it was worse for Pompey. <laughs> <laughs> Pompey was performing like on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> like at least for me it was regulated to either saturday or friday <laughs> you know especially sundays because obviously churches, churches yeah, yeah. invite us yeah but i mean yeah pompey abel i mean abel was doing all weddings <laughs> all weddings in zambia were abel's so like i mean it was just it became just crazy uh in that regard so we did yeah we did we did many shows I think what I what I miss about that time is we did many secular shows. Mm. Now it's sort of like we have been too adopted by Christians. Now it's like everything we do is it's we are it's, more yes. for the Christian community. Yeah. Um, no matter how hard we try and break out, but because it's like we are identified as that. So mm. even if I went to a club, they know oh, this guy is coming to preach. You know. <laughs> they are ready for us. You know what I mean. You're not going so to surprise like, them. Yes, yes, yes. So it's kind of you like need to change your tactic, bro. Yes, we need to change the tactic exactly. So, um, so I would say like uh, anyway. So that time was probably the most booked by secular events, and of course they loved the controversy of oh we're gonna have Mark Forty Four there, and then you know like yes, oh yes, yes, yes we're gonna have, yeah. So I remember I sang at so when Davido came to Zambia. I, I was I sang there. Uh, there was a time we had uh, which other secular artist? Casper Nyonvest. Mm. I in fact, when Casper Nyonvest came, I was right before him. Yo. Yeah. So it was me. So it was we did a lot of house performance. So Pompey. So they decided to put me at the end. I don't mm. know why. Um, but then, oh anyway, I I, I kind of know why because I guess. I, I like to like you know jump around yeah, sometimes on stage. Yeah. I'm very like I can be very energetic. So I don't know about now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm now 36, so I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so um, so after my performance, then then so I so I, I opened for quite a few secular events at the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and then um, what happened? Wait. So mm -hmm. we're coming back. Let me just change some batteries right here. Sure.